How's it going everyone? My name is Snowblizzard and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Okay, anyways, this video today is about uh, seven different ways you can align your items when putting them through a sorting system. So I'll link that right here in a little card up on top of the screen to a video where I showed you how to make an automatic sorting system. And in order to use a water stream, you kind of have to align them properly to make sure that all the hoppers can reach them. If you just did that with a normal block, say if we threw an iron block in here, uh, it wouldn't get picked up because it'd be lined up on the edge and it wouldn't go over any of the hoppers. As you can see, it made it all the way to the end. So we're gonna be talking about a bunch of different ways and a bunch of different substitutes and things you can use in order to actually like align your items properly so that the hoppers have a chance to pick them up. So this is our dispenser. I mean, our dropper of luck here, our dropper of chance, our dropper of magical wisdom. It's going to spit out some items and we're going to talk about them. So the first one we get is a cake. You can actually use a cake, if you didn't know this, to align your items. So if I were to place a cake there, you could see its hitbox is just barely small enough so that if an item goes over here, it'll be able to kind of shift over the hoppers. So if we put it into here and we grab ourselves a button, we can place it right here. You see the cape gets dispensed and it lines up with the hopper and it goes right into the first hopper. So our first item is a cake. For the next item, we have chests. If you didn't know, chests actually have a smaller hitbox than normal blocks. So we can take all three of these chests. They fall into the same category. You can use a normal chest, a trap chest, or even an ender chest. All three of them have that same little gap that a cake did. So if we were to put any of these items in here, you can actually see, oh, I just picked that one up. You can see that it lines up with the chest and it goes right into the hopper. So this is really reliable and it's really cheap too to make regular chests. If you're using under chests, then I don't know what's wrong with you because I hate gathering obsidian. But I mean, regular chests are really easy to craft and really expen inexpensive. So that's probably one of your best bets there. So next out of the dropper, we have... A grindstone and now a grindstone is special because it's kind of like a full block but it's not exactly as you can see it has this little gap in between on either side so I believe you can place it in either direction and it actually has this little gap so if we were to put items into this dropper and hit this button you can see it lines up with the grindstone perfectly and it goes along and that's fantastic to use because grindstones are also another cheap alternative as they only use a couple pieces of stone and a couple sticks. I believe it's one stone slab actually, now that I think about it. So it's a really cheap, inefficient, in, in uh, it's a really cheap, inexpensive block that you can use to align your items. And now we have number four, which is the turtle eggs. Turtle eggs are a fantastic thing to use. They're small, they don't really have a huge block, so you can place them here. And I believe it's two. You need a minimum of two. So if we put these in the dropper, and we flick that lever, we can see that it goes on the turtle eggs. And if we only have two here, it should work the same. So if we flick this lever, it should be able to align them up properly and go down here. So if you have two turtle eggs and you don't feel like using a full block, then those will work perfectly. For our fifth item, we have the honey block. So the honey block, if you didn't know, it looks like a full block, but there's actually this little slice of clear right here. It actually doesn't count as a block. So if we were to place it on top of a block like that, we can actually jump and stand on this block. So we can actually kind of get onto this block right here as if it were a ledge. And if you stand up here and press F3, you can see you're just a little bit, you're less than a tenth of a block below this. So if we were to put honey block here, technically items can go into this block a little bit, allowing them to intersect with the hopper and get picked up. As you can see by hitting this button, if we have the honey block go here, it'll actually get picked up by the second hopper by spitting it out and having it align up with the honey block here. Just because of that small little gap, it allows it to kind of align with the water stream and the hopper. And now for our sixth block to align things with, we have the anvil. The anvil is more of an expensive block. It's more of a flex, okay. It does cost quite a bit of money or quite a bit of resources, I should say. And as you can see, this little, the bottom half of the block right here has a little slit in it. I'm more comfortable with placing them this way just because of that gap right here. But you can really do it either way, it should work. So if we place it like that, you can see there's a little gap right there in the hitbox. So when an item comes down the water stream, it should line up right here and then 
be able to stay in the water stream. So let's test that out. So if we place that lever here, and it should get picked up by the second hopper. There we go. And now for our final item to be able to align things with, our seventh last but not least item, we have sea pickles. I'm sure you've all heard of these. Sea pickles are a wonderful way of sorting items, or aligning items anyways. See, if you put one here, and then you make it two, it makes the hitbox bigger, and you put three in, it makes it just a little bit bigger. You can do it with two, but the items go really slow. I'll show you that right now. So if we put a C pickle in here and we push the button, you can see that it goes kind of slow as it goes down. But if you were to put three here, then it would go a lot faster because it would be more onto the water stream. It would just get slipped down the side and it's a great way to align your items on your hoppers. And so those are all the seven ways that I've figured out going through the items on how to align your items. If you like the video, be sure to like the button. If it really helped you out, then leave a comment. Let me know what you used it for and if you used it for like a storage or an auto sorting system or all those kinds of things, how creative you got. Let me know if you found any other blocks you can align your items with too because those are always really useful and really helpful to other people who check out this video as well. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.